hello happy people hamza here and welcome back to the channel now in this video i want to show you exactly how you can create a mobile header using astra pro just like this one here okay whereby you can navigate through and when it's actually having an off canvas menu having this kind of hamburger icon or actually the menu trigger and all that stuff you can even change this to appear from the right or to the left and even a number of other layout or custom settings and the same uh, it will look like on the mobile when you click just like this and you can even use a totally different color over here or even add a logo and all that stuff so let's dive straight in and get started so the number one thing you have to have is to have astra pro astra pro is actually a plugin or an add-on to astra theme and that is actually the one that brings in the extension whereby you can actually create custom in your astra pro website now this is the add-on which is astra pro that you actually need to create mobile headers and once you are done you simply come over here to the appearance then you will have this option for astra options and then you will have this available astra pro modules and right here they all be listed now here what you have to look up for is the mobile header the mobile header option actually is one that gives us the ability to create such a mobile header with an off canvas menu and a lot more other amazing customization abilities now once you activate that you simply click over here here is now deactivated when i click activate now it's activated now that means i can make my customizations after that you simply head straight to the customizer and appearance and once you are in here i want to first mention two things first of all you should have created your main header using astra and astra pro that is if you needed to have like sticky options and next you should have created your menus just something like this uh, with the main menu or the primary menu and then you have like a few of the sub items just like that and then later you start creating your mobile header now what you have to do is simply come over here to the uh, headers option under the customizer and come to the primary option and then first of all select the layout for your mobile header in this case we want our logo to appear on the left hand side and we want our hamburger icon or the sub menu items to be in line with the hamburger icon which should be on the extreme right hand side you can actually choose a different layout but that goes back to what you want and what i mean by this is that your logo will be appearing this side which is representing this and your uh, sub menu item or your hamburger item icon will be appearing right on the extreme right hand side now if you select this one which is stuck then it will automatically bring the logo on top and the hamburger icon right down here below just like this but that's not what we want we want it to be looking just like that now once you have set up uh, the layout of your mobile header then you're going to simply come back here and come to the primary menu option now right down here we're going to scroll simply down to the mobile menu and here we shall choose a breakpoint at one point should our mobile menu or mobile header show up okay now you can set a couple of different pixels or sizing based on what you want but i prefer to leave it at default which is made by astra because at default of course it's using the standard sizes of tablet devices and mobile devices and right here the menu label is actually showing what is appearing here in the menu label and i can change that to something else uh, maybe drop down maybe something like that or menu something like that and here we can choose the menu style we can either say it's going to be a drop down by drop down that means when someone clicks over here it will drop down uh, over the mobile menu it will simply drop down just like that now if we change that to a flyout look at this when i click over here boom the flyout comes up this is the off canvas menu that you can even choose uh, to switch to maybe the right hand side and it appears from this other side when i click over here boom it shows up and then you can even uh, choose the toggle button style which is actually this one here uh, whether it's a fill an outline or any other like maybe a minimal styling and i prefer to use the outline and you can even choose to have a totally different color as opposed to that one something like that maybe and then you can choose the border radius that is in case you want to have a border radius on this item something like that but i don't need to add a border radius and then you want to add like a drop down icon target now 
I want you to look at this. Now, when I click over here, this is the target icon. So I can choose to either use a link or I can simply choose to use the icon itself, you see? So you can either choose to use the link or the icon right there. Then the other thing that you can choose uh, from over here is the border for the menu items. For example, when you click over here, realize there is a border over here and you can either choose to have a top border. Let me make it like three. And uh, maybe I can even choose to have a border for all the items right there. See over here, border is showing up. Border for the menu items. Or I can simply delete everything over there and boom, we won't have anything showing up over there. And I can simply also reset this to a totally different color. Or if I want to use another color, maybe that color or maybe a gray. Actually, this is for the toggle button style, which I never wanted actually to change. But for some reason, it, uh, I changed it. So I'm going to just switch back to a totally different color and then come down here to the drop down target. Uh, which is uh, the border color which which I wanted actually to switch. Now it is using a totally different color and uh, maybe I simply just want to clear this color. Maybe I can also choose that I don't want to have a border color right there. So you can leave it at default or you can do whatever you want right here for the border color for the items. So once you are done setting up your mobile menu options are the breakpoints, the menu option right over here or the menu label, the flyout. In case you don't want a flyout and maybe you want a full screen uh, for your menu to show up on the mobile devices, when I click over here, boom, now the full screen will show up over there. Okay, you can also choose not to have a toggle for your mobile menu and that's how it will appear. But in this case, I want to use a flyout, which is an off canvas and I want it to be on the left hand side. So now when I come back over here, boom, it will show up on this other side. So now what appears on the mobile device, now we're using a tablet. Now when I click over here on the mobile device, of course now it is still using the same uh, styling. Now when I come over here and come to the mobile option and I try to change this to maybe a drop down, then when I click over here, I realize it's actually a drop down. And of course, if it's a toggle, it also shows uh, in a different styling. And also if you choose a full screen, still it will choose a full screen for your mobile menu to show up right there. So once you are done, of course you can make much more other stylings, like for example, for your background color or this flyout, or even for your screen option as to how you want it to appear like. And in a nutshell, that's how you can actually uh, customize your mobile menu using the Astra Pro add-on for the mobile header. In case you have any questions, comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. And in case you want to see other tutorials about creating mobile menus or even creating mobile mega menus, I actually have a tutorial on that. And I'm going to link them down here in the description box below. And in case you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.